Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and this is day number five of my seven day senior workout challenge, which is 10 minutes a day for seven days, which is manageable, it's accessible, no equipment needed, just our body weight. And what we're gonna aim to do is 10 exercises in 10 minutes, working for 35 seconds, resting for 25 seconds. We're gonna try and go through together. If an exercise doesn't feel suitable, you can't quite do it, skip it out or switch it for something else, no problem, but let's try and finish the workout together. So first up, we're gonna just do a march on the spot, lifting our knees up and across the body if we can, trying to hopefully get the knee to the elbow. If that's too difficult, keep it a bit lower, but the aim is to try and build the strength to really bring those knees up. So off we go. Knees up and across the body, 35 seconds on the exercise, followed by 25 seconds rest. So we're trying to bring knees up and across. This is all about movement, you know, increasing the blood flow to the joints, get your muscles strong, and more importantly, just pick up your energy and get you feeling good. That's why I exercise. It's all about the mindset. Right, last few seconds, so march, lift, three, two, one, and relax, perfect. Right, 25 seconds to recover, catch your breath. Next one's gonna be, imagine we're holding a dumbbell. We're gonna sort of go down, it's called a snack, so we're gonna, imagine we're snatching the dumbbell. So from the ground, we come up and lift. So we bend down, and imagine we're sort of throwing that weight up to the ceiling. So, the slight bend in the knees, come up and lift. So we're gonna do 35 seconds on the right side. Off we go, and then 35 on the left. So imagine we're sort of pulling that weight from the ground and we're ripping it up to the sky. So you don't have to squat right down, it's just a shallow kind of squat, bend the knees slightly, and come up. So imagine we're trying to pull a dumbbell from the floor and you sort of snatch it up as quick as you can. Perfect. So really think about driving through those hips. Squeeze your glutes as well at the top. So squeeze the glutes, activate these muscles, and repeat. Perfect. If you do get to the point where you feel like you want a bit of resistance, you can hold a little dumbbell or a water bowl if you want to make it a little bit tougher. But we're just getting the technique. So this is literally a slight bend in the knee. And as you come up, you straighten through, through the hips by activating the glutes. So you sort of come forward and then come up as if you were holding a dumbbell. And we're snatching that weight up to the ceiling. Here we go. In three, two, one. So bend slightly, snatch up. That's it. So imagine we're trying to sort of get that imaginary dumbbell straight to the sky in the shortest possible time. So it's kind of a sort of ripping up and lifting motion. That's it. Good. Keep an arm out to the side. Bend and lift. So we're snatching the dumbbell up to the sky. That's it. Last few seconds. Five on the clock. And relax, perfect. Right, that's three down, seven to go. Next up, I want our elbows like this, so just holding the elbows like this. And what we're gonna try and do, just sort of um, retract the shoulders, so squeeze the shoulders back together. And from there, we're gonna try and just lift one leg out to the side. So we sort of imagine we're, gonna, we're not gonna get the knee to the elbow, but we're gonna try, imagine we're taking that knee, so it's not coming forwards. Bring it out slightly. So let's get some strength through these hips. That's it, off we go. So elbows are staying up. And obviously you can do this really slow. One and down. Two and down. Just tip. Do what works for you. It's all about balance. But by stepping onto that single leg, you are having to work all these muscles. And obviously we'll be using this hip. We're really creating some space as we drive that knee up. So even if you're starting like this and your knees are really low, you know, as you build the strength up on your hip flexors and you get some more range, you're gonna get that higher. So keep coming back. Build strength, create space and improve the joint health. That's the most important thing. Right, perfect. So next up, we're gonna, we're gonna imagine we're, we're holding a, a bar and we're gonna do a deadlift. So imagine we've had a bar in our hand like this or you know, a broom handle and we're just gonna slightly bend. So it's not really a squat. We just slightly bend our knees. So soft knees, come forward, straight back and then sort of stand up. So slight bend in the hamstring and the knees, pull back. So imagine doing a deadlift. So back's nice and straight, bend at the hips, feel a stretch through the hamstring, and with those muscles, you pull back. So I'm kind of just taking my hand just below the knees, so just below the knees, and from there, 
I'm not arching my back like this, keeping that nice neutral spine, pull up. So it's really good for your lower back and also for your hamstrings, your posterior chains, your hamstrings and glutes. Squeeze. So the one thing you don't want to do in that position is, is, is round that back. So really focus on a nice neutral spine from there and you squeeze and drive through there. Perfect. Okay, next up, um, we're going to do three moves in one. So imagine we're holding dumbbells again. So we're going to squat down, curl and press. So squat, bicep curl, shoulder press. Obviously go as deep as you can in the squat. So nice and deep if you can. Curl and press. And press. Good. So we're really thinking about the squat. So legs, biceps, shoulders. Legs, biceps, those three, three separate moves. Think about each one in isolation. So the legs come up, bicep curl for the arms, shoulders, and down. Good, and obviously, the stronger you get, the more range in your hips. You're really going to get into deeper into that squat and come up. But if you can't, if your squat today is just that, just bending the knees, you're still working the muscles, you're obviously not getting as deep, but it's just about building that strength up. So don't be hard on yourself, take it easy and really progress each week, each day you come back, it's going to improve. Next up, so this is quite a challenging one, so you're going to feel stretch through the inside of the leg. So this is like a lateral lunge, just gently step and then to the centre. So off we go. You can obviously just like really gently bend that knee or you can actually proper get deep into it, depending on your strength. If you need to, use the hands just to support yourself. Use the hands to support yourself. But as I said, even if you're just stepping and a really shallow bend in that knee, it's still something, right? You're still moving. We're still working the muscles. We're picking up our heart rate. We're doing something. Come on, keep it going. Three, two, one. And relax, perfect. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is gonna be some rotations. This is just a nice slow rotation through the spine, elbows up, it's gonna twist so feet are sort of shoulder width apart, nice strong stable support on the ground and we're just going to twist. So don't over twist, don't clip and twist around too fast, control it. As we go round, off we go, so nice gentle rotations through the spine, elbows up, nice deep breaths. And obviously you get a little bit more warmed up and you feel like you've got a bit more strength, use those muscles. We're pulling ourselves around and also controlling it. We're not just cracking it into it and sort of popping out. We're trying to control that strength through those muscles in the spine and through the core. So our obliques, the muscles in the side of our abs. Last few seconds, elbows and twist. We've only got two more moves after this and relax, perfect. Okay, next one. This is gonna be like a, a slow motion mountain climber. So I call these, sorry, rope climber. This. So normally I would run on the spot. And if you've got the energy and you want to run on the spot, go for a bit. If not, just slow, march and stretch. So sort of like knee up and then opposite. So as the left knee comes up, right arms up and then you switch. Let's go. So just step. And sort of pushing up and pulling down. Imagine you're pulling a rope. So that's why I call these the rope climbers. That's it, good. This is it, day number five. Two more days in the challenge. I hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're enjoying the variety of exercises. And hopefully it's making an impact, it's making a difference. 10 seconds, up, stretch, and pull. Good, last five seconds, we've got one more move after this. Three, two, one, and, and relax, perfect. So, final move. What we're gonna do now, feet together, step back, and punch. So it's like a step, punch. So it's your right leg goes back, right foot goes forward. So right leg goes back, right arm goes forward. And then it's left, right, left. And again, you can make this harder by going faster. Off we go. Come on, this is the last one. So it's step back and punch. So right leg back, left leg back. Throw those nice straight punches. Come on, let's really get our heart rate up now. Last. Little push, 20 seconds on this one, come on. It's day five, 
of the seven days senior workout challenge. Come on, all the way. 10 seconds, let's go, push. Come on, you got it. Let's build up that strength. Three, punch, two, one, and oosh. We did it, day number five complete. Well done, thank you for joining me. Please share these workouts with your friends and family. Even if they're not seniors and they're just coming back from an injury or they've got um, you know, they're really low levels of fitness, this can help them. So forget about the nine at the name being seniors. It's good for anyone who wants to start out, beginners, um, even kids, you know, it's nice, gentle exercises, um, and I hope you're enjoying it. Thanks for taking part. Enjoy your day, have a drink, have a good old stretch, and I'll see you tomorrow for day number six of the seven day challenge. Good luck.